this wonderful presentation. You know, the public lands of the Western United States are diverse, rugged, and beautiful, and majestic. And, uh, they're as majestic as the horses and burros that live there. These animals are born with colors of the land upon them. The browns, blacks, reds, blues, dapple grays, and snowy whites all reflect nature's pink color. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, may I present Doc's Teddy Bear, the real head Mustang adopted through one of the Mustang Heritage Foundation's extreme Mustang makeover competitions. Today, America's wild horses and burros are found in 10 western states. It's the BLM's responsibility to preserve and protect healthy herds of wild, free-roaming horses and burros and as components of public land. In 1973, the Adopt the Horse and Burro program was initiated to meet the challenges of balancing health of the public lands and the health of the wild horses. No matter where you live in the U.S., there'll be an adoption near you. You can even adopt now on the internet. If you decide to adopt, you will join thousands of adopters across the nation who have discovered the true value of the wild horses and birds, intelligent, hardworking, sure-footed animals. They're a horse for all seasons and reasons. A Doc Teddy Bear is a very special Mustang to our family, they say, for a multitude of reasons. He won the Tennessee Spring Mustang Makeover in October of 11 after 90 days of training, just 90 days. He rode, jumped riders through the ring of fire, showed us all with confidence and poise. Teddy Bear went from a wild horse to a true big old teddy bear in just 90 days. Now his name is most fitting. His three-year-old at the time named him Teddy Bear. He was gentle and loving. And the moment I touched him, unbelievable work ethic. Teddy Bear has always had a very special
wish I could do that with my hack. Fifteen minutes away from the